Hello friends! Tony finally decided to do something for his life and got into movies. And most of all, he was struck by the incredible and deadly dangerous tricks of action films. So, today Tony will try himself as a stuntman. Let's go! Let's start with the fairly old but very interesting 1993 movie Cliffhanger. In this movie, the stuntman moved from one flying plane to another at an altitude of 4,700 meters and, most importantly, without safety gear. Everything is ready, Tony. See that second plane linked to ours with a strong metal cable? Go on. Come on, don't be shy. It wasn't my idea, after all. Very well, very well. You are now at the same altitude as the film stuntman. The air here is thin, which means that you don't have enough oxygen and are feeling slightly sick. Plus, we are flying at a speed of 240 kilometers per hour, and it's quite difficult to breathe. No, Tony, we can't change the speed. If we go slower, the engines of the planes would die out. If we go faster, you will simply be carried away by the strong airflow. All right, and you were afraid, but look how great you did. By the way, stuntman Simon Crane received a million dollars for this trick. And you, Tony? Well done, well done. Here is another interesting trick, this time from Christopher Nolan's Inception. There was a scene where Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character fought against the bad guys in a rotating corridor. So that wasn't CGI, but real shooting. Let's repeat the trick. First, we need to build a giant corridor which will rotate using special mechanisms. For the movie, they used about 500 people and spent a lot of time, but we can do it like this. All right, Tony, go inside and try to keep balance. Well, you did so much better with the planes. Now, while our hero is trying to look like the protagonist of the movie Inception, tell us in the comments what other exciting tricks from movies you know. And the best story will be featured in our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss Super Tony's new experiments.